Hey guys, how's it going? Hasib here and welcome to another high level video. In this video, I'm going to describe LC phone system and everything about it. Uh, how to do this, what's the pricing structure, what's the benefit, uh, why it's better than Twilio and lots of stuff. So we've switched over to LC phone system for one of our accounts from Twilio today. That's why I'm just making this video, uh, sharing my experience. So uh, as you can see in the screen, I've, uh, I have a lot of articles open here. So this article covers pretty much everything about LC phone system, what it is, uh, how it's different from Twilio, what you need to do, especially if you're in US and Canada, uh, there's a problem that's going like you cannot send out SMS. Sometimes it's blocking out because of the carriers. It's not about Twilio. It's not about high level. It's basically about the US government rules and regulations. So uh, we're going to see how we can get like relief from all those sorts of problems. So I'm going to link this article in the video description so you can look into this. So uh, before we go ahead and show you how it's done, let me show you the pricing structure. So this is the pricing structure for uh, LC phone system, actually. So this is how much you are getting charged for a local phone number if you purchase one. So you're paying one dollar per phone number every month. Toll free phone numbers is two dollars per month. And this is a message. This is how much you get charged for outbound message, inbound message, uh, MMS, especially in US and Canada and then voice calls, number validation. If you want to have a service for number validation, you, you'll get charged like $0.05 per number. So you can read this whole article to get a better knowledge of the pricing structure. Now, if we go back to the, the previous article, which is the how to switch over, this is pretty simple, really. Uh, you have to go to your agency view and then go to settings and then come to phone system Twilio. And here you will see switch to lead connector phone system. All you need to do is just click on this and this will uh, open a pop up window. You just need to give your consent and just give a click. That's it. That's how simple it is. If we go to the article, uh, this is how you switch to lead connector phone system. And then all you need to do is move the numbers or just move the sub accounts because I assume you are going to have multiple sub accounts under your agency account. So you need to move over all the sub accounts to LC phone system, uh, then Twilio. You can bulk migrate all the sub accounts by clicking a button because uh, once you click on this, you will find another button that will ask you to bulk move all the sub accounts to lead connector phone system. This process may take 24 hours because in our case, it took like about uh, 17 to 18 hours. But yeah, it, it may take longer. If not, uh, if it's still pending, you might want to get in touch with high level support. Definitely, they'll help you. This is one of the reasons why we switched over from Twilio to high level because it's a live support. So we can reach out to them anytime where like Twilio has a, like a ticketing system where it may take like one or two days, maybe sometimes three days for them to get back to us with a reply. So this is one of the reasons why we switched over and also about. So if we go back to this uh, screen, so you can see like uh, you can switch over to LC phone system and then bulk migrate all the sub accounts uh, to lead connector phone system. Now, if you are in outside US and Canada, you need to do one more thing. So once they've moved over all the numbers, you need to go to this page and see how to create a regulatory bundle or address. This is especially for Europe, South America, all those countries. So let me show you how you can do this. All right, guys, so I'm in one of the sub accounts in uh, Go High Level. So if I go to settings, which I am in my settings, and if I go to phone numbers, and here you can see a new tab once you move uh, to lead connector phone system, which says regulatory bundle or address, and this is for non-US and Canada. This is especially for Europe. So you need to create a regulatory bundle with uh, all the given info. Let's go to this page to see what info they require. You'll find everything here. I'll link this also in the description so it's easier for you. Now, if you are from US and Canada, you need to do a couple more things. Let's go over those now. Here I am in one of the other articles, which says uh, lead connector phone system trust center. What is trust center? So uh, this is the problem we were facing with Twilio, right? So we weren't able to send out messages. Uh, the carriers were blocking those. So lead connector phone system trust center is one of the processes that you can use to get rid of those problems. 
So uh, if you register your business for Trust Center, by your business, I mean all the sub accounts, right? If you register and follow this process, you're not going to have those problem anymore, like carriers blocking out your emails. So you can read uh, the whole article for more in-depth in knowledge about the Trust Center and how it can be helpful for you uh, to like increase the rate of sending rates, you know? So I'm going to show you how we did it so it's easier for you first of all let me just walk you through the process and this is after the sub account switching over process from twilio to lc phone system is done unless it's complete you cannot do anything so assuming that it's complete all right so i'm in one of the other sub accounts and i'm going to show you how we can easily register for the trust center and the a2p dlc registration so these two are the required things you need to do like to get rid of the carriers blocking out problems so i'm in uh, my sub account settings and phone numbers here you can find a tab called trust center so these are the most important two things you need to do in order to register for trust center and then register a2p dlc which is a 10 digit code registration you know so this is really important for us to like increase the score of our phone numbers uh, because these are virtual phone numbers so this is really important that we register for these two to avoid like getting spammed so what we need to do first of all is we need to complete the business profile and that's really simple you need to go to your business profile you need to fill up all the single details like legal business name and these all need to be authentic by the way if you are doing it for your client then just ask for these information legal business name business email phone number website niche and then business type business industry business type will be like uh, whether it's an llc or cooperative like non-profit organization those stuff now this is really important you need to uh, give an ein or like a DUNS or there are other uh, registration types but for US I think these are the most important two uh, these are the only two I guess so in our case we used this one because we uh, it, it says in their in their trust hub article that you have a better rate of like better percentage of getting approved and quickly if you use EIN so you're going to use one of the EIN numbers of your employers or employees or your clients business registration number which will be like the EIN number here and then choose US and Canada and then go to this part this can be you as an agency owner or this can be your client himself like uh, first name last name email phone number and job position that's all that's all you need to do so once you do that you can go back to your phone numbers area and then submit for review if i now submit for review it's going to ask all these details because i haven't filled it up it's one of the dummy accounts so if you do it for yourself you're hopefully not going to face all these issues in our case approval took about like 10 or 15 minutes it may take longer because they say it may take like about 24 to 48 hours but hopefully it's like really short and simple now we are going to go over a2p brand and campaign registration this is the most important thing so once you are done with this then you can apply for this as you can see this is not letting me uh, start the registration process now because my business profile is not complete and approved or you don't have to approve it just just complete it and submit it and then start registration so i'm gonna go over another registration and show you what they want all right guys so i'm gonna show you uh the a2p brand registration through this article so this is literally how i did this so i don't have to go over the same process again so once you are done with the business profile and submit then you can start doing this a2p registration you need to start registration and it will charge a one-time fee of 4.41 dollars and then it will be uh low volume mixed this is the recommended use case and then you can like describe the use case that i'm doing like this we are doing a campaign or like they they opt in and they get follow-ups with a link and stuff so you just need to describe your use case of uh, why are you using this uh, why are you using your phone number uh, for this application and then uh, in the next window or the next pop-up you need to give your like sample messages like the sms that you typically send so you need to send out two you can tick mark those two uh, messages will include an embed link and messages will include phone numbers so you need to 
it's it's good if you like tick mark these two and then next you need to describe what's the like how do end users consent to receiving messages like how how they agree so the answer might be like uh they click a checkbox uh and agree that they want to receive uh text messages so this is how you describe it and then opt-in keywords you could just put start uh in our case we put start and then you could keep it blank and then submit that's it that's all you need to do and then you will be seeing this screen uh where business profile hopefully will be approved on first try and then it will be also approved within like 10 or 15 minutes it may take longer again i don't know uh so this is how we switched over from twilio to lc phone system my experience very smooth honestly like uh couldn't have been easier if it was a different uh phone system like twilio i am sure because i have been in this for a long time and i know that like these processes they, they take a lot of time so switching over from twilio to lc phone system is like a five star to me uh it took literally like one hour for me to like complete 14 to 15 sub accounts and um, this is how easy it is because like it should have been longer but it didn't take that long for me to you know complete the process so i suggest you also move over to lc phone system especially if you're in the us and canada in that case you you can like get a like a trust center registration and then you don't have to worry about getting blocked by carriers anymore so this was one of the main reasons why we moved over from twilio to lc phone system and i hope it goes well from today because it, it's been really difficult uh completing this process with twilio but with lc phone system it's really it was really smooth that's that's all i needed to say and once again i will just link all these uh articles in my videos description so you can go over each of them and uh have no confusion so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you